Welcome back. ICICI Bank, Punjab National Bank, among several others, have decided to knock off rates on their home loan products for the festive season. There are other banks like Syndicate, Vijaya Corporation who have knocked off their processing fee etc. again as a special offer to home buyers. Now just taking an example of ICICI Bank because it is the private, largest private bank has cut both floating and fixed rates and uh, the offer is valid for sanctions till December 31st 2012. But how exciting are these home loan offers? Who better than Harsh Rungta, CEO of Apnapesa.com to tell us this. Harsh, thank you very much for joining us on our expert segment. Pleasure. I'm going to start with the first uh, question. Is it just a marketing gimmick? Because most of these banks anyway offer you a discount if your credit worthiness is good sitting across the table. Uh, well, I think there are two parts uh, to the current round of uh, within inverted commas festive offers. One is the drop in interest rates. Uh, second is uh, off on processing fees. I think as far as interest rates are concerned, these are just uh, actual drop in interest rates disguised as festive offers. Uh, you can get uh, that uh, come December, Jan, whatever is the last date by which you are supposed to uh, get the uh, first disbursement. We will actually see that uh, converted into actual rates or this getting uh, elongated because the fact that interest rates are dropping is a reality. Festive offers is a nice way to disguise the fact that these reduced rates are available only to new consumers and are not available to the existing consumers. Uh, the bit about processing fee, I think that is genuine uh, festive offer that may not remain. So, to the extent of the processing fee which can be reasonably significant, uh, I mean it can go up as much as uh, uh, half a percent or 11,000 or 15,000 rupees. I think uh, that part of the festive offer uh, wherever offered uh, is, is, is for real and may go away uh, post uh, the season coming to an end. Mm -hmm. So, you are saying do not get taken in uh, too much by the reduction in interest rates, but yes the benefit of the processing fee going away, it could range from 5000 to 15000, but that is a real immediate benefit, is not it? Absolutely. Do the same thing that you would do at any given point of time, festival or no festival. Just compare whatever you are getting, whether the bank calls it a festival offer or whether it is a regular offer. Compare it. There are so many comparison online marketplaces like ours, like apnapesa.com available. You compare all your offers. What do you care whether it is a festive offer or a non-festive offer? And go for the one that best suits you. Right. Best suits you and I think the interesting part also to tell our viewers would be that don't just go in for a bank uh, because it is waving off the processing fee. You still need to go for the best product in terms of the lowest interest rates that you get, isn't it? It is a long tenure product. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. It makes a huge difference. Even a 0.10% off because it is a long tenure product uh, can make a uh, large difference which a 10,000 rupee fee off is not going to help. Fair enough. Uh, I am going to take this question, a very interesting one. We have got a large NRI viewership and Jude from Dubai writes in saying, I am planning to buy a house in India, taking a personal loan from Dubai where the bank is saying that it, they will charge me 4% flat interest rates and installments in the next 4 years. I would like your advice whether I should take this personal loan from Dubai or take a housing loan from India. I am assuming that he is an Indian citizen. It is quite obvious otherwise he would find it much tougher to come here and you know do the loan processing. So, what do you suggest? So, first of all, uh, my first advice is please do not take a, a loan that uh, where a lender quotes a flat rate. The only reason this flat rate is, 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 a, is a mythical uh, creature that uh, a very imaginative banker has created. Uh, whenever the banker is ashamed to tell you the actual effective rate, he, he turns it into a flat rate and tells you. So, when they say 4 percent flat rate assuming and he says 4 years, assuming the uh, area uh, installments are payable in areas that is 7 and a half percent effective and I can bet you it will not be in areas. If it is even one installment in advance it is 8 percent, it is probably going to be many installments in advance in which case it can be 10 percent, 12 percent. So, I am saying do not go for a lender who talks in terms of flat rate. When you take it in Dubai, it is anyway going to be a DRAM based uh, structure. Uh, so, you need to see how much exposure you want in DRAMs versus how much exposure you want in India. The answer would real in India you would get it at between 10 and 10.25. 
percent in rupees. So, really now it is for this person to decide uh, where he wants to keep his exposure, does he want to be exposed, obviously on the investment side he is exposed in rupees. Uh, does he want to be exposed in complete rupees today? Does he want to uh, 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 slowly bring in the rupees? I think those are the things uh, uh, that he needs to decide. Uh, how much is this taxable income in India? Uh, what does he want to do eventually? All that will go into the advice. Without knowing the full background, the advice is please do not go in for a, uh, a loan where a flat rate is being quoted. So, I would still suggest you stick to a loan, uh, a regular home loan in India. All right, regular home loan in India and you know, uh, there was a time harsh even in India and I am talking about 10 years ago where the same thing was happening. Bankers were quoting a flat rate, some banks were quoting a floating rate and there was just so much confusion in the market which I think is now gone. More or less banks and the large NBFCs do quote a reasonable floating rate or a fixed rate on home loans, isn't it? It is compulsory. RBI has, uh, now there are regulations that surround this and in no document can anybody uh, put a floating rate. Uh, so, I mean, if, if, if a banker is uh, caught uh, giving a flat rate, there would be regulatory penalty to pay. So, clearly, uh, flat rates are not being quoted in India. If in India somebody is talking flat rate, avoid him like the plague. Absolutely, at least as far as India is concerned, even if somebody is verbally giving you a flat rate, be assured it is the actual rate will be somewhere close to 20, 25, 30 percent. Fair enough, Harsh. Uh, very interesting question. It's also, you know, led us to a whole new dimension of what can be quoted by bankers. But yes, in the last at least seven to eight years, even I have not uh, heard or seen or got a view or question on flat rate. This is one which has come from Dubai. Thank you very much for making the time to come to our studio. We've got many other questions on home finance, Harsh, but we've run out of time today Thanks. on this segment. We will come back to you to understand construction linked home loans versus just an upfront payment, upfront loan and also subvention schemes, how they work probably next week or week after. Thanks again. The uncertain economic climate and oversupply seems to be putting quite a bit of pressure on the commercial office space.